Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And it's getting rather nippy outside, but that's not going to stop me from having some delicious tasting ciders for you guys. Today, we're going to Cornwall to, to the Cornish Orchard Cidery to try out their black and gold still dry cider. Now, um, this is obviously from the second of the mixed cases of ciders that I've got. I've also got another Cornish Orchard cider sitting in the fridge as well. I think it's their medium dry sparkling variety of this particular one so that'll be uh, one I'll be looking forward to, to to as well. However, this is all about the black and gold still dry tonight, so without further ado, let me give you some details on black and gold still dry. Cornish Orchard's black and gold still dry cider comes in 500ml bottles, and that is the only way you're going to get this bottle as well. The alcohol percentage of this one is 5.5% in volume, and like it says on the front, it is a still dry cider. Now, strangely enough, the Cornish Orchard's website doesn't actually stock this particular one anymore. You can only get it off of uh, PureSpiritDrinks.co.uk, and they're charging £2.25 per bottle, which, to be honest, isn't really too bad for a cider, if you ask me. Alright then, yeah, like I said, I've actually checked on the Cornish Orchard's website recently, and they've just uh, recently revamped it, and I don't actually think they do this particular cider on their website anymore. You can still get it off of uh, PureSpiritDrinks.co.uk as of this um, video recording, but whether um, it's just limited supply, I don't know. However, I hope they still keep on stocking it, because, well, it's always a shame to see really good ciders go to waste, isn't it? I remember when um, the Merry Down, the Merry Down people did uh, Merry Down Gold, and that was easily one of my favourite ciders for a very, very long time. And then they stopped producing it, and I was very disappointed in that. Hopefully they'll bring it back, but you never know, they probably won't. Anyway, going off on a tangent there, it's all about Cornish Orchard still dry at the moment. So, um, let's just see what it says on the bottle, shall we? Um, doesn't say anything on there, just, you know, usual bump. Ah, here we go. Our classic cider with a dry, full-bodied, traditional taste. Our award-winning ciders are made on the farm, beginning with good fruit selection, followed by pressing and a long, cool fermentation in the autumn. Time to mellow during the winter and skillful blending produces ciders without the need for added artificial sweeteners, flavours or preservatives. This right here is a real cider. Thank you very much. And it has their website on it and everything, but like I said, you can't actually get this one off of um, their website anymore. I think you can only get the sparkling variety, which is a bit of a shame, but at least Pure Spirit Drinks still have it, so if it's good, I'll probably get it while stocks last. But, without further ado, I'm just about to get this top open. As you can see, it's an actually a screw cap. I don't need my bottle opener for this one. So, without further ado, I'm just going to try and get this open. I might just have to cut away, because you know what these things are like. See if I can get a good grip on it. Oh no, there we go. I got it. Yeah, as you can see, there we go, a nice screw cap there. That's actually kind of um, kind of unique for ciders, bottled ciders. I haven't really seen many ciders that actually do it in a screw cap, so that's a bit, uh, bit of a unique one there, really. Now, I can already smell it before I've even got my nose up to the neck, so I'm going to go in for a bit of a whiff. It smells a lot stronger than 5.5% volume. Wow, I I would definitely have said that was easily 6.5, maybe even 7%. Blimey, really, really strong, dry, bitter notes coming off of the nose. Wow, they're really invading my nasal, nasal passages. It's probably because the neck of the bottle's a lot thinner than, uh, or a lot narrower than some of the other bottles that I've had. It's probably um, trapping the aromas a lot more. So, let me go and pour this into the glass then. Now, because it is um, still, I don't need to bother being, you know, overly cautious about pouring this thing, seeing it is still. Don't think there's any sediment in there as well, so that's all cool. Now, because it was a clear bottle, you probably saw the colour, but that is it. Um, quite a, almost like a murky, murky sort of golden colour there. Um, very clear, as you can see, obviously really, really still. Um, but yeah, overall, real, um, you know, real uh, standard colour, I'd say. Alright, I'm just going to go in for a closer whiff in the glass. Mmm, yeah, obviously it is a, a lot more subdued in the glass, but you're still getting, um, 
those really dry, bitter, bitter notes coming off of this. There ain't going to be no sweetness in this cider, I can tell you. Right, without any further ado, I'm going to dive into this. So, cheers guys, bottoms up. That's how a still dry cider should taste. Mmm, wow, that is good. That is really, really good. Um, like, a, a few um, reviews back, I did a another still cider. Can't quite remember the name of it, but I know for a fact that, um, oh, that was it. It was the um, Tesco, the Tesco um, still dry cider that I had. And it had absolutely no flavour to it at all. This is absolutely crammed full of flavour. You're getting, um, you know, the real dryness and um, very, very, almost like a very bitter apple taste uh, to begin with. And then it's not quite, it's not quite an oaky aftertaste. I would say it's more of like a syrupy, syrupy toffee kind of aftertaste. But uh, I'll just go for a second opinion. Mm, yeah, you're getting those real, real dry tannins to it. It's um, mm. it's not the uh, it's not the astringent sort of dry though, because um, I obviously I've had some that have like been really, really, you know, really harshly biting as you know astringent means. But this one is um, almost like a mellow sort of dry. It's very, very light as well, not full bodied, so it's going to be very, very easy to drink this thing as well. And like I say, the uh, aftertaste isn't quite oaky, it is kind of more of a... It is almost kind of like more of like a syrupy aftertaste to it. But it's not, um... It's not obviously where they've added like artificial sugars or sweetness, so it's like that artificial gummy sort of, you know, syrupy aftertaste. No, it is like proper, proper syrup. I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say like golden syrup. I'd say it's, uh, if you've ever had like maple syrup, something like that, it's got that that sort of aftertaste to it. Very, very pleasant though. Mmm. Mmm, that is nice. That is really nice. It's such a shame that Cornish Orchards don't stock it on their, on this web, on their, um, website anymore. Because this is a very pleasantly tasting drink. Mmm. So yeah, like I say, I hope Pure Spirit Drinks keep a hold of this because, um, so far, I'm going to be getting some more bottles of this while stocks last, I can tell you. Hmm. It seems the more that I drink it, the more of the, um, the more the flavour of the apples is coming through. And it is, um, it's definitely a very mellow, bitter taste to it. But like I say, it's not uh, the astringent sort, so as you can tell, I'm not, you know, being taken aback by it. This is, um... I guess this the best word, like I say, to describe this drink is mellow. Um, but not such in the way that it detracts from any of the flavours. It's just one that you can drink so easily and still enjoy it with all the flavours. Mm. And the flavours are lingering in your mouth as well. They, um, you know, they've been invited to the party and they just don't want to go. They're, um... They're like, you know, the buddy that just gets so incredibly drunk and actually has to spend the night in your place. It's kind of like that. Obviously, without less of the, you know, with less of the mess, obviously. Mmm. That is a gorgeous cider. Really, really good. I actually think it's, um, the, on the only still cider that I've tried so far that's actually been pretty decent. So, thank God there is still ciders that taste good out there. Right, final taste before the final verdict. Mm. Yeah, real, real dry. Um, I'd say it's very refreshing too. It's, um, yeah, like I say, the more that I'm drinking this, the more of the apples and the aromas are coming through on the, you know, on the palate and everything. So obviously the more that you drink this, the more you're actually going to enjoy it. Which, to be honest, is the way a cider should be. You know, you want to enjoy your drink, not think, oh god, I've actually got to finish this drink to get my money's worth. So, Cornish Orchards, get this back in, seriously. Get this 
still dry cider back on your market because this is a damn good cider and one that shouldn't have actually been taken off your website. But as for the rating, I'm going to give Cornish Orchards still dry cider an 8 out of 10. Now, it didn't score a 9, obviously, because um, I have had um, better tasting ones, but not, not to detract from the fact that this is an absolutely gorgeous tasting cider. Obviously, some people, you know, don't think still ciders are as good as sparkling ones, but this one is definitely the one that could convert you if you don't like your still ciders. Hunt this out. Like I say, it's on the PureSpiritDrinks.co.uk for the time being at this time of recording. Get a bottle of this and let me know what you think because to me this is one of the better tasting still ciders out there definitely well that was another episode of the cider drinker for you guys I hope you liked it because well once again I certainly did so until next time I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider but until then I'm gonna finish me this cheeky drink of Cornish Orchards black and gold still dry get it back on your website Cornish Orchards that's an order till next time guys Take care.